Gone are the days when the scariest thing about Halloween was the bad candy at your neighbor's house. This year, there's something else, something very real, frightening Jessica LaBella's neighborhood. Children think that it, this is the haunted house, so they try to pass me up and enter the door, and, and they just, they all really, they do appreciate it. Every year, LaBella and her son Ashton transform their home into a house of horrors. Last year, a body dangled from the roof. This year, the two are creating an asylum. But it wasn't all tricks and treats getting everything together. This year, they had COVID to think about and storms. With all the hurricane after hurricane, <laughs> it's been really hard to uh, set up. I've had to set up some things and then take some things down. But that didn't slow them down. They put all the decorations up and got the costumes ready for a night of fun. That's something Donna Travis, the owner of Party Time, says a lot of people are doing today. We have our annual predictions for Halloween and this has been um, a good year. Costumes and spider webs are flying off the shelves this year. Travis says she's noticed more families choosing to stay in and decorate rather than trick or treat. But if you do decide to go out and get some candy the old fashioned way, Dion Matthews with Oshner has a few tips. See that there's a lot of people already at the house. Try to stay away from that other family. Try not to let the kids pick in and dig their own candy out. Try handing it out to them. Have a costume that includes a mask so that you're shielding your nose and your mouth as well. Kara St. Cyr, Fox 44 News.